Good morning, everybody. I've been busy buzzing around today. It's already afternoon. I've gotten three of my four deliveries done. I'm in a bit of a rush, so we'll chat a little bit more later. What I did was I picked up a load in Headingley, Manitoba, west of Winnipeg. A load of steel. Beautiful Canadian steel. Made in Canada. It says it right on it. I'll show you later. You don't see that too often. That's why I mention it. Usually things are made in other places around the world. Can't think of any specific place right now, but there is, if I feel like there's a specific place on this planet where most things are made and they like to tell everybody because it's on everything, made in this place. Well, on this steel I got in my trailer, it says made in Canada. So that was nice to see. So I delivered two drops in Winkler. I'm just leaving my drop here in Plum Coulee, which is just east of Winkler. Now I'm gonna go a little bit further east here on the other side of the Red River, way over there, about 45 minutes away, and drop off the rest of the steel. It was like steel tubing. They're pretty heavy, pretty heavy. I got a tri-axle trailer behind me, so we got some weight on us. The biggest of my deliveries is the last one. We're gonna go get that off, and then I gotta bring this trailer back to the yard, and then I got a bobtail into Winnipeg. I have a load out of Winnipeg tomorrow that I've gotta to bring to Portage La Prairie. A bunch of local running around stuff this week. It's a different kind of week for me, but it's you know, changing it up a little bit. Next week, I'm sure I'll be back to normal. Well, we'll see what happens. Let's get out there. Huh. So we're leaving Plum Coulee. This is Highway 14 here, if you're familiar with Southern Manitoba. We're gonna follow these red trucks that way. Not the yellow truck, that way. We wanna go that way. Oh wait, no, the yellow truck's going that way. Oh, I don't wanna go that way either. Oh, oh, here's our chance, here's our chance. Let's give her. drivers on the road are very often the guys with the red license plates in Manitoba. <laughs> I'm just noticing a trend, I'm not saying anything. The red license plates, uh, you can only get them if you're a firefighter. And he's not using his signals either up there. My man, my man. You're not in your fire truck, bud. You gotta follow the rules. Yeah, I know I've been cut off a few times today, all by different pickup trucks, all had firefighter plates. <laughs> Just a trend today, I guess. Anyways, that doesn't matter. Look at the fields coming up. Everything's green, 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 green. Except for the sky, that's smoky. It's gray. Oh, and we got some tourists here. <laughs> oh, yes. Lovely, lovely. So like I said, about 45 minutes and we'll be at our last delivery point. I should be getting there about 2.45 to three o'clock, somewhere in there. Yeah, if we're following this guy, it might be closer to three o'clock though. It's doing 95. Speed limit's 100, so I, I can't be that upset, right? The speed limit's just the maximum, Trucker Jazz. I know, it's the maximum, but. I also would like to go the speed limit. Okay, he's slowing down. Okay, buddy, don't. I keep getting closer and closer. I don't want to get that close to him. He's slowing down, I'm going 85. If you want me to pass, that's cool, but I'm not gonna pass you till I feel comfortable. You know, that's one thing on the road. 
personally, I don't like it when people try to force me to pass. And I know they're just trying to be nice. That's the thing about it. You're like, you don't want to get mad at them because you know, they're trying to be nice. Oh, this guy's going for it. Send it, bud. Give her. You're going to cut in here, aren't you? No, you're going to take us both. Okay, that's illegal, but I won't tell anybody. What was I saying? Oh yeah, like when people are going slow on the highway and they're trying to be nice and they want to let you pass, so they'll try to like wave you around when, and I don't always feel comfortable passing because sometimes I got a really heavy load and I need like five miles to get past them, right? Because it's going to take a while. And I can see traffic coming and I know I can't make it, but they're like insisting, getting mad at you. Like, pass me already, pass. You can go, you can go. I'm like, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I'll just stay behind you. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me how to live my life. Maybe I want to go slow too. Let's go slow together. Had that a couple of times too. They, they get right mad at you if they don't if you don't pass them when they tell you to. Like, bud, when I feel comfortable passing, I'll pull out into the passing lane. And then when you see me pull out into the passing lane, the courteous thing to do then is let off the throttle, slow down so that it's easier for me to get past, and then you can maintain your speed after, right? And then I'll be out of your hair, because I want to go faster than you, obviously. And then I'll be gone out of your hair, and you can continue on down the road la di da with no one behind you right that's what i do anyways if someone wants to get past me i don't speed up i don't maintain my speed or or anything like that when they want to pass i slow down let them get past me i want them to get past me I just i'll wait till they feel comfortable enough to pull out to make the pass then i'll help them out that's just me though i mean i get why people do it like they want to let you know hey it's safe to come by it's sort of one of those awkward situations where you're like thanks but no thanks He's not doing a bad speed, he's sped up. He's doing a 98 now, 97, not too bad. He's going fast enough that I can't justify speeding to get past him. And he's slowing down again. You know, Legend has it that even when you're pulling a camper trailer, your cruise control still works. Well, I don't know. I don't know. That's just rumors. Rumors. Maybe you're not supposed to use your cruise control when you're pulling a trailer. I don't know. I do. Hey, it's going right down again. Bud, come on, man. Come on, man. Whatever, I'm going to deal with this guy, and uh, we'll see you guys when we're at our delivery. use that crane down there to unload me and I wanted to show this to you because I was talking to you about it. Look at this. Can you believe it? Something was made right here. Look at that. There it is again. There it is again. Look at that. We make stuff. We make stuff too. Ha. Take that, China. Lots of stuff in here. That's the crane over there that's gonna unload me. So I better get my straps off of here. Look how clean this place is though, eh? Like, look how clean this place is. It's amazing. It is not very often that you see a big warehouse like this that you could practically eat off the floor. That is awesome. That is that deserves a hashtag impressed. I'm gonna leave you guys in here while I finish up. There it comes. So, in Oak Bank, which also has the Tim Hortons. I'm very excited for the morning. I'm that guy today. 
I'm the bobtail. I know, I know. How often am I always like, oh, there's a bobtail in the parking spot. How dare he? In my defense, it's pretty empty here. Like there's this whole spot beside me that's empty. And I needed somewhere to park. And I wanted Timmy's in the morning. Okay. Like, look at this. You got this over here. All of this is wide open. Like, I'm surprised. Usually, I shouldn't say usually because I don't stay here often. Oh, there's a pickup right there. There's a guy in there. Don't want him to think I'm filming him or anything, but there's like no trucks here. So here we are. I have to pick up a load just down the street over there. That's why I'm parked here. First thing tomorrow morning, and I have to be there first thing because I have to have a trailer that I'm picking up right over there in Portage La Prairie by 9.30 a.m. tomorrow, before 9.30. So I have to get up at about 7 a.m. or so. This shit isn't too bad, right? It's not too bad. You go over there, you pick up the trailer, yada, yada, and blah, 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 45 minute drive down that way, you're in Portage, and that's pretty much my whole day. Tomorrow is Friday, when I'm, so I'm filming this on a Thursday. I'm not too sure what day of the week I release this on, but I'm filming this on a Thursday, so tomorrow's Friday. And uh, that means after I'm done in Portage, I head home. And I'm really looking forward to that. This weekend is a big weekend for us because on Saturday is our baby shower, which is a Jack and Jill baby shower, which means it's for men and women. That means I can go. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to that. And Sunday, it's Father's Day. It's my first one. I don't know how to feel exactly. Like, should I feel excited? Should I feel proud? Should I... Should I not say anything? I can't say nothing because I'm excited. It's my first Father's Day. I can't wait. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're probably just gonna... I, I, Britt already asked me what I wanna do. And I said, well, if it's a nice day, if the sun's shining, I just wanna sit on the porch all day. I just wanna sit outside and just enjoy my family. I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit at home and and be with be with them and just be. So we'll see what happens. That's the weekend ahead. And then Monday, Old Blue's going in for a service, full service, top to bottom, front to back, side to side, bottom and top, full service. Monday morning. And then I'm hoping. Hoping that they can get it done in the morning so that uh, by afternoon I could probably get going. And they gotta keep these wheels turning. Speaking of wheels, I gotta get these uh, tires replaced very soon as well. There, let me show you. They're getting close, right? They're getting close. The front drives are even worse. I don't know if the camera will pick it up right now, but... They need to be replaced. I've already got two. Remember, I bought two in January already. So since the front drives are the worst, I'm gonna replace those first. I'm gonna buy two more that match the other two I already have. Swap those out. And I'm hoping these, which have a little bit more left on them, will last about another two or three months. And then I'll buy another four for the back. This one already has mismatched treads, which yes, has been driving me crazy. But it is what it is. I had a flat tire and they couldn't repair it. So uh, I bought those two, remember? I don't know how long you guys have been following me or not. If you guys remember, I believe it was in January I had this flat tire. And uh, the only way, it was an emergency roadside repair. I was at a truck stop, I was in Radisson, Saskatchewan. And the only tires they had that could get me going were two Goodyears. I forget the model name of the tires right now, but anyways, I had to replace two of them because you can't just replace one, right? And then the other one wears funny, so I bought two. But I didn't want to have brand new tires on one side and not on the other side, so what I did was I went to KK Penner in Wilmore and I bought a used tire, which is this one here. And it had the same tread depth as the other ones. So this has allowed me to wear all of my other tires down to the point where they are now needing to be replaced. So I got another, I'm sure the market for May, June. Five months 
out of these tires. And these ones on the back, I'm probably gonna get another two or three months out of yet. And then uh, the ones on the front, they need to be replaced next month. I'm thinking, next month. So it is what it is. Tires are expensive now too. Uh, I got them on a deal, these two, because I got them through our account at work. Uh, they were $750 each by the looks of it. But uh, normally the tires would go for anywhere between $750 and $1,000 each. So the next two tires will be on my account, which is different than the company's account, because the company's got, obviously they have like over 100, 200 trucks. They have a different account than me. And I run my own business, this is my own truck, so I have my own accounts. And those tires might be a little more expensive. I'm thinking probably between eight and $900 each. And I have eight of them on the back. And then also, let's not forget, I have steer tires on the front of my truck. Those have got to be replaced as well this fall. I'm hoping that those steers will last me until the snow starts falling. We'll see what happens. Those are uh, between between $900 and $1,000 each on the front. So, to do some math for you, keep in mind I'm terrible at math, that's why I have calculators and I'm not using one right now. I'm sitting on between eight and $10,000 of rubber on this truck. Just so you know the operation costs of a truck like this. Those tires, the steer tires usually last, I'd say about a one to two years, depending on where you drive and how you drive. And the drive tires back here, these eight, they last between two and three years, depending on how you drive and where you drive. If I'm totally off on that, maybe you drive, maybe you've had tires that last way longer than that, uh, feel free to correct me down in the comment section down below. I'm, I'm open to correction. Uh, everybody's experience is different, obviously, because everybody drives differently and everybody's in a different region. I'm on the prairies here, if you, don't, if you haven't noticed. It's flat. It's flat all around me, just flat. It's flatter than a pancake out here. So if you're driving in the mountains, you probably have a different uh, tire life span than I do. Let me know down below in the comment section, how long do a set of drives last you and how long do your steers last you? And let me know where you are and what conditions you drive into. Maybe you learned something new today, maybe you didn't. Either way, give me a thumbs up if you did like the video. If you really didn't like it, you can hit that thumbs down button twice. That's the, the magic number. Hit it twice for me. I'll see you tomorrow. Go down below, make sure you're subscribed. There'll be another video tomorrow. We're headed home tomorrow, I'm actually excited. I'm gonna go and deliver that, uh, I think I'm pulling a tanker or something tomorrow. Just gonna drop it off in Portage and head on home for our baby shower and for Father's Day. We'll see you then.